Welcome to Lakeshore Focus, a weekly show highlighting challenging issues, fascinating people, and important events in our region. When you think of the United Way, what comes to mind? Charity, nonprofits, community, donations. The United Way is a powerful force within Northwest Indiana contributing to the growth and quality of our communities in a variety of ways. Today we are joined by the chairs of the United Way community campaigns to share with us how this dynamic organization is impacting our region and what it's all about. I'm happy to welcome John Kennedy, who is the Business Development Director for American Structure Point, and Greg Farrell, who is the President and CEO of Farrell Wealth. So, glad to have both you guys here. Thanks glad for being here. here. And I, I promise I'm not going to ask you any difficult questions, including what your names are. Because we've already, <laughs> we've we've already, already covered that. that. This is covered good, that. Right? You yes, both good. told me I couldn't ask you that. So, but That's you are good. John and you are Greg, right? Correct. God, Correct. We got thanks, that worked thanks. out. Right. Now, what's important to know is you're both chairs of the campaigns, but everybody's going to say for which county? Mm -hmm. Porter Greg, County. You got Porter County? And I'm with Lake County. Okay. And we also know there's a campaign in LaPorte County and pretty much United Ways are in all counties throughout the country and throughout Chicagoland area, right? So Correct, yeah. over 1,400 uh, throughout the nation. So it's, You've been prepped well. I have, you know, I'm just learning. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the volunteers from the Porter County group that helped me out so much. They've definitely... And that's why they're in the help. studio keeping an yes, eye on exactly. both of you. Right today, over there. Right? Okay. Yes, yes, right. they are. <laughs> they are watching over you. Yes, they are. I know. I, I thought that you guys, I thought they were bodyguards at first, but I'm now realizing that they're here to make sure you don't screw up. Mm -hmm. that Pretty much. Correct. That is oh, correct. Okay. Exactly. This, this is good. Um, you know, for two guys who are business guys, mm -hmm. okay, you're both in, in, in the business world. John, you and I have known each other for a long time, economic that's great. development stuff. You know, what do you really know about? the needs of the community beyond business? Um, Either one of you. Well, I'll go. The first. It, it, our organization is based on volunteers, a, a wide variety of volunteers throughout Lake County. And these people are born, raised, grew up in Lake County, know and have committed a lot of their time to other organizations and nonprofits. So we work together with not only the board and all these volunteers throughout the community to address what they consider and, and experts in these fields consider the biggest need for our county and we work with them and they advise us and we make some tough decisions but those decisions we think have the greatest impact on the community that's a really good answer because you're saying this is much bigger than just youtube but it still begs the question you guys got asked to be chair so surely you know everything about what's going on in the community uh do you, you it's impossible to know everything but you, it's very easy to see that there's a need uh my wife and i decided to be campaign chairs when we were asked and it's an honor, uh, it's a privilege to be able to uh, try to make a difference uh, throughout the community. You definitely see the need, especially since with the recession in 2008 and then the mess that went on financially uh, with this entire country, but especially in this area, you really see the need um, has grown exponentially and the dollars have actually decreased. So it's and, been very difficult. And, and I'm, I'm kind of starting in the show probably from an assumption a lot of people know what United Way is, but uh, what's, the, what's the cliff note version of what United Way is? Well, I can never give cliff notes, but let me tell you about <laughs> 10 years ago, I thought United Way was based with the NFL football organization having kids work out for 60 minutes. That's what I, 10 years ago I thought United Way was. Now that I, I've been with United Way for over about five years now, and now the campaign chair, I realize that we are a synergy in Lake County for resources, uh, funding, volunteers, and all sorts. I, I don't want Lake County, uh, United Way to be all, always considered with donations and money. It's about getting people out there to volunteer to help their community, not only the community, but their next door neighbor if they need it, to have those resources available handily and easy to get to, that's what United Way is all about. So when about. you talk about funding things in the community, uh, you fund, what do you talk about needs? Because you're not funding Pop Warner football, right? No, you're funding agencies that basically apply for the dollars that come about. And in Porter County, uh, we're 1.8 million overall. So you have 38 agencies that actually apply for that money and then it's These allocated. These might be called social service agencies or? Correct, and they're, they, okay. fall, they fall in three different sort of uh, silos. Okay. So you have anything that deals with finance and getting a family back up on their feet financially, uh, education and anything that might have to do with, let's say kids programs, boys and girls club and whatnot, um, and then health. So then those three silos, if you are a nonprofit 
inside of any of those three, um, the United Way will, will fund those. So in, we have 31 in Porter County and Lake has 30, well, we have 38, they have 31. So How that's come, what I like about it. Wait, Lake County's bigger. How come you have 31 and you have 38? I, I'm confused. Well, we, we do a very detailed analysis, making sure these organizations provide the best, biggest impact, community impact to those communities. And so we go through a very big analysis, and those 31 were the ones that were selected to participate. Let, let, let me ask you guys on a more personal side of this. You know, what's really pulls at your heartstrings in terms of when you look at the community, living in the communities you live in, what's your issue? What's your passion for the needs of the community? Well, the, one of the things that I saw when I first moved to the community, we, my wife and I came from Chicago, so we're not originally from here. Uh, we moved to a great place in Valparaiso. Uh, so we got brain game. Reporting. I always want to yeah. point this out. <laughs> yes. Brain game. We yes, got you. Exactly. Here. Pulled us uh, uh, out of Chicago for family and for those reasons and lifestyle. And immediately I saw a need. Uh, I coach a lot of different uh, programs. Uh, I've uh, been a high school football coach for years. Uh, I just saw it with the kids. I saw a lot of need with the kids, especially in Boys and Girls Club, and I got uh, uh, immediately was involved in a lot of these different things uh, throughout the community. So it was really the kids was a, uh, was a big focus for me initially. And then now what's been uh, amazing to see is the accountability that I like with the, the United Way brings. Um, they have an allocation committee. Uh, the board uh, it votes on where the dollars go. But um, these charities are all um, accountable. So just because you say you're going to do something, you're, you're, you have to do that, or you won't get the money next year. We don't they just, ha, they have prepped out. you really well, haven't they? I can, I can, I can see it. Let me, let me ask you, when you were in Chicago, were you involved in things? Yes, there? yeah, I, I okay. coached uh, Cabrini Green uh, uh, baseball teams. Uh, I was very involved with uh, the Chicago Board Options Exchange where I traded. Uh, they had a number of different partnerships that we were able to give, and United Way was one of them. So uh, we gained you really over here. You know, we have a lot of viewers in the Chicagoland area, so you want to tell them how great it is to live over in northwest Indiana? It's fantastic, and we love the taxes, too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's a great place. John, you, you've been here forever, really, right? Born and raised in Lake County um, and uh, looking to stay here for forever. So, but still, I, and the, so you tell the people in Chicago it's a great place because? Yeah. It, I like it here because you're close to Chicago, but uh, get the benefits of uh, great quality of life and uh, initiatives in Northwest Indiana. So what's your issue? What, what tugs at your heartstrings? You know, for me, as you said, I've been here for forever and we've known each other for a long time in my economic development days. I, I've been able to be what I consider successful in Lake County. And for me, it's just trying to give back to the community. So United Way was that opportunity for me to volunteer, to give my time, to give my resources. And I mean, all these organizations are great. So if there's an opportunity for me to participate in, in the, the, the education side or the health side, I'm, you know, I, I want to give back to the community. So you, you've got a lot of things that kind of ring your bell. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, why did you guys get picked? Why, why did they pick you two specifically? I don't know. We said yes. <laughs> been, Was it as simple as that? Now, come on. No. I mean, really, what well, do you think? Well, I've been on the board now for four years, and at Lake Area United Way, we're starting a, a, a sort of, not a hierarchy, but we're trying to move people up. As they've been there, they learn the, learn what United Way does. They become uh, not experts, but they know how the system works. And so those people that can go out there and promote advocate for United Way, they want them out in front and be able to promote wh what United Way does. And so me being there for four years, knowing the community, uh, being able to go out and, and network, I think that's why I was asked to participate. Might it have chair. something to do with all the people you also know? Absolutely. And the credibility you have? Well, this, the first part, absolutely. Second part, we'll, 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 we'll consider Well, after the show, we'll see. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll Good see if, if you can keep it, keep it up, though. Keep so. it up, though. Why'd they pick you? I was... Uh, part of the board for six Particularly years you're now. you're a new guy, right? So I am. I am. Uh, we've, we've definitely um, dug some serious roots uh, quickly uh, since we moved here from Chicago. I was president of Rotary uh, in Valpo just this last year, and then now campaign chair for United Way uh, uh, this year. And, you know, for, for us, it was, or for me, on this, in this situation, we were on the board, I was on the board for six years, been on the board for, for quite a while, and then I was leadership chair, which is $1,000 or higher in donors. Okay, so I was asking for bigger money, bigger dollars, uh, very, very quickly. And I had some great mentors that 
followed ahead or, or, or you know, uh, showed me the way, uh, really, to how to run a campaign, how to see a campaign, and kind of pick and choose what I like and what I don't necessarily like about how to, you know, how to actually ask for the need and ask for the money. We, we have a, probably a lot of people who watch these shows who are really involved in leadership roles in the community. And I know everybody who's involved in those kind of roles is asked to help ask for money. How hard is it? Sounds like it's you kind of are okay with asking for money. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm, I'm okay because I see the uh, the difference it makes. Uh, when you see, um, for instance, uh, we have a I Need a Hug program, which is a, a fantastic reading program in, in, in Porter County. It started off with um, the Valparaiso uh, University softball uh, women's softball team start off with this idea that they're going to have 200, you know, they basically had 200 little reading buddies. They're about 16 inches tall, 18 inches tall, and they're, you know, five bucks or whatever it is. And um, that started from 200. Now that has just exploded into a reading program for over 120 some different second grade classrooms inside the county, where second graders are now reading to this buddy. It is their buddy. They take it home. Many of these kids are from broken homes. They're, they don't have the opportunity to be able to, to maybe read to a sister or a brother or a mother or a father. So that their buddy becomes a really close friend. And then they get to read uh, to that throughout the year and wow. then get to take the, that buddy home at the end of the year. When you see things like that, it's really easy to ask for to money. To walk up and say, we need money we to need support money. this program. It would never happen, especially with the fact that 90% of all the dollars that come through in Porter County and most United Ways, all that money goes right back in the community. So can you ask Locally. for money? Yes, for this cause. For this cause, it's very easy. And, and one of the biggest reasons, my father was in the banking business for 40 years. And he always talked about being financially steward, sound. And that's what Lake, or the United Ways are. The money comes in, the resources come in, and you have a wide variety of board members that are very stewards, or big stewards and individuals in the community. And we make sure that money is going to organizations that make the biggest impact. So I can tell someone honest, or look them in the face and say, 85 to 90 percent of your money is going to the organizations that need, that are making the greatest impact uh, on the community. And it's easy to say it, so it's easy to ask. Well, so what are you doing on my other 10 or 15 percent? Well, we have to get out and market. We got to market for the resource. We got to get the volunteers out there. We got to do the promos to, to let everyone know that the United Way is out there making great impact in the community. I will say most charities, on average, uh, it's about 35 percent of those dollars don't even make it back in the community. So point. To, be able to, to be able to have the opportunity to have maybe 10 or even seven uh, as you narrow that down, but you have to pay the salaries of the people inside the community. You know, I mean, the, the volunteers and, and then ultimately the employees of the United Way inside each county, they do a ton of work and they work very, very hard. And, and, and that's what I want to say. I know it's more than the, the marketing piece. There's The United Ways do a lot of looking at the needs in the community. For, before I ask you a little bit more about those, you know, and I won't tell anybody what you said, even if we've got people watching. Are the staff any good, really? I mean, like TJ and Melissa and, you know, Lou and Sharon, I mean. They're very good. They're very good. They're excellent. They're they paid you good. to say that, right? We are on TV. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay. So we're being recorded. <laughs> so, so they're going to be watching this and seeing if you did a good job. They are terrific people. Uh, 20, 20 years ago, when my father was still around, he told me about the United Way. And he told me about Lou Martinez back in that. And he goes, John, you got to be a part of this organization, just not only by, because of leadership, because of what they did. So 20 years ago, my father already knew how great United Way is. 20 years later, they're still great. And, and I know because we see those staff people out at all kinds of things, doing things, they really are in touch with the needs of the community. Wouldn't you say that's true? Absolutely. And they're in touch with all different agencies. Um, so not only are they helping the agency that might not necessarily be a part of United Way yet, but they're also helping that agency go through a process that maybe they might qualify next year for the allocations. But the reason that w my wife and I got involved with United Way, I like it so much, is one, because of the accountability. Um, they make these charities accountable. There is a process, just like you spoke about. Um, and they make them jump through hurdles, uh, jump over, you know, o over hurdles. Uh, so you know when you give your money, you've got a group who are really saying, we are putting that money into organizations who are doing something. Correct. And, and as Greg said, allocations. Allocation is how we, we split up the resources to these organizations. When I first came on the board, my responsibility, and I think they do that for all new members of the, the board, is to go out to these organizations and see what they do. 
So I had a hands-on experience to see what they're trying to accomplish, how they're accomplishing it, and how our money is being used to, to do it. So for two, four years almost, I've been going out every year, going through the allocation process, meeting with the directors of the programs, and seeing the kind of impact they make. So these board members are doing that, like you said, you know, not only during the work day, but they're doing it after hours. So, That's a I rewarding mean, experience. It really is. It, it makes you feel great. Caring, uh, the day of caring is, is really something that's phenomenal. Uh, when you have 2,000 volunteers to go out into different uh, charities to paint a fence, to uh, mow a lawn, to you name it, these charities, they need that. Um, we were at a, a Boys and Girls Club uh, just north of here, and there were four different organizations and 70 different volunteers painting to uh, fixing electricity, uh, electrical outlets to be able to make sure that this place was cleaned up. And the head of that uh, Boys and Girls Club said this is like Christmas to him because they shut the place down, and then they have all these people come in, and it's just a phenomenal um, experience when you see how the community comes together and now, now, you guys are shooting for 1.8 million, but you don't have really a specific goal this year. What's that about? Because you you guys are 5 million, right? We did 5 million last year. This okay. year, we haven't set a goal amount. We want to get away from, you know, we're shooting for a dollar amount. Okay. It's not only about money. Yes, money helps these organizations, but we also want to get people out there to volunteer, to have that feel good, have that good feeling. You know, I did something for my neighbor. I did something for the community. You know, people enjoy that just as well as giving money. And also we want to look at increasing donors. We need to get more individuals involved in United Way, even more hopefully at a younger age, and get them involved and have be long-term associates with United Way. So we have a, you know, our goal is to increase the number of volunteers by 1,000 and increase new donors by 1,000. That's our goal this year. We're not shooting for an actual dollar amount. We okay. just want to get more people to participate. So how, how many people are giving to United Way? Do you know that number kind of right off? If you're trying to go 1,000 more. Oh, that's, I do not have that information. Okay. I don't know. Uh, it would be tough, too, as far as the overall number coming. Because there's so many people, as far as tracking, too, where they might be coming from a campaign where they might have been from Porter County at one time, and they give for that reason. And tracking those are almost impossible, especially when you go through the campaigns, let's say, in Chicago. You might work in Chicago, you might live in Porter County, you want your dollars to go back, and, and they do. Um, but tracking that would be extremely difficult. And, uh, and I know that's a hard question, because I know that's a yeah, hard question tough. for staff to even track all the people who, who volunteer and everything. Well, let me ask a question, kind of, uh, today we have so much controversy about the role of government and so forth, and let's kind of maybe talk government versus church versus United Way role, where people will say, how does how does that sit? I mean, everybody's saying you know you know, the government shouldn't be doing any of this stuff. It should be the churches and things like United Way. Is that can they really handle all this? Five million doesn't really sound like a lot of money for all the need out there. One point eight million. When you say like the United Way should handle, I mean we 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 promote, we try to get as much resources as possible, and then we 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 give it to the organizations that have the greatest impact. Would, is five million enough? No. Would it be ten million be enough? Probably not. But we do the best we can to get as much resources in to help those communities. You guys work closely with Port County, and actually, the United Ways all seem to work together here. And actually, you work together with the community foundations too. What's all this cooperation about? All of, I mean, that's not always been there. Well, sometimes you find uh, things that actually fit really, really well for not just a county, but the entire region. Um, for instance, Success by Six, which is a program that teaches kids to be able to make sure they're able to read because kids that can read by six years old exponentially do better in school for the rest of their lives. So rather than work on maybe their ailments or their ills when they're 12 or 13 or 15 or even as an adult, why not try to get them early on and be able to teach them uh, and get them on the right start? That has been a mandate that's been it's, it initially started um, you know, in Porter and then sort of built. It's in LaPorte and it's also in Lake. And th that's a real push. The early childhood education is a real focus for United Way, isn't it? It is one of the three silos, as he says, education. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very important to us. We, we, you know, when someone has a tragedy, whether it's health or income, you know, they most likely might have kids. And, and trying to get those kids either after school care, so as they, people get back on their feet, but also, you know, education's all about from cradle to career. 
and United Way follows that format from early childhood development all the way up to the, hopefully they get a job and through their career. The other one too is a volunteer program, the volunteer center that's um, you know basically north towards Chesterton. Um, if you're a, a resident of the region, where do you go to volunteer and try to find out maybe uh, something you want to do? That, that's a great wrap up. We're really down the last couple of seconds. So to the audience, if people want to give or volunteer, what do they need to do? Uh, go to our website at Lake County, www.lauw.org. Well, www okay. Um, I recommend you, you donate, obviously, to any organization you can as far as charity and whatnot. Of course, Porter County and United Way and the Porter County United Way website, um, which is uh, unitedwaypc.org. Okay. So um, basically the good suggestion is go to the website. It'll give you the information you need to get yep. plugged in. Correct. Right? Okay. But Thanks. also volunteer and, uh, and be an advocate. I'm glad you got the, ad, the volunteer piece in. Absolutely. Thanks for both of you being here today. I really appreciate you. You gave you a lot of good information. Thank you. Appreciate the time. Thank All you. All right. Thanks. In previous editorials, I've lauded the efforts of the thousands of volunteers who are in the trenches day after day serving lunches, supervising children, painting houses, driving vans, preparing food, handing out programs, and more. Today I want to focus on a second or next level of volunteers who serve another purpose. They are the people who are active on boards, committees, and teams, setting direction, creating policy, and monitoring the progress of countless nonprofit organizations and groups which serve our communities and the people who live there. What these people do is not glamorous or even heartwarming. It requires their time to review documents, sit through meetings, write procedures, read reports, analyze financial statements, talk about difficult issues, and make hard decisions. They have to donate money ask for money, collect money, and count it. They have to urge people to participate, motivate others to volunteer, and talk people into doing things that they are not reluctant to do. This is not exciting stuff, but it must be done for an organization to carry out its mission. You may believe that the people who sit on these boards often do it as part of their job. Really? I know many of them, and most do not get paid to take on these responsibilities. They are add-ons to their jobs, or they're worked into their daily routine. In exchange for their time volunteered, they have to arrive at work early, sacrifice lunchtime, stay late after work, or sit on the couch at home and finish their work. It's all blended into what they do and who they are. We should take the time to appreciate those who volunteer their time, treasures, and talents to make our communities better places. Yes, there is a good feeling that can accompany this type of work, but it's not the same as directly seeing a child smile, hearing a thank you for food, or being hugged by a grateful parent. Yet without this effort behind the scenes and at this next level, the rest of it might not happen. Thanks for watching Lakeshore Focus. Do you know some of the people I'm talking about? Are you one of them? Have you lately appreciated what they do? We'd like to hear your thoughts, so email us at focus at lakeshorepublicmedia.org or reach us through our website, which is listed on your screen. Join us next week for another Lakeshore Focus. I'm Keith Kirkpatrick saying, make a positive difference in our world today.